Hey guys, Colin here from Nexus Tech. So today I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Um, this is not the official motion graphics tutorial episode, not one of the big ones. This is just a little tips episode, if you will, something like that, um, where I'm going to show you a little technique. Um, so it's going to be a lot shorter. Uh, but yeah, also, this is the same day as the episode last week, so I'm still very jet lagged. Don't mind that, but um, let's do this. So, very similar settings, you can just copy that if you would like. Um, but yeah, so let's make a solid. So go layer, new solid, um, 1920 by 1080, and we're gonna make it dark because the rain, it's gonna be a nighttime scene. Oops, um, what have I done here? There we go. Um, okay, cool. So we have our dark background, and all you wanna do is go to effects and presets and go CC, oops, rainfall there it is and you already got pretty good rain there um, but you can improve this a lot I think because right now it's kind of boring um, and it's a bit more cartoony I know it's motion graphics but I don't know I feel like it looks a bit cartoony like this so uh, motion graphics is kind of a midpoint between cartoons and realism I, I don't know so yeah, let's play around with this. So obviously you have drops, size, uh, speed, wind, variation, and all those things. But usually what I do is I just change the wind to about, I don't know, somewhere around 1,300. Just where it's at that kind of angle that uh, rain usually falls at in kind of crappy weather. Um, variation, I would, I would say only kind of play with this if, the, if it's falling straight down. Because usually rain doesn't... When it when it's windy, like it, like my scene is, um, rain kind of falls at the same angle. But when it's when it's falling straight down, a lot of the time it's all over the place because it's kind of weird weather. And so if it's falling straight down, I'd play with variation. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Um, even though it says wind here, I, like okay, I'm not here to teach you <laughs> rain like logic, but um, that's just my. Uh, my two cents on the on the matter um so you can turn the opacity up usually i turn it way up while i'm editing it just so i can get a good good look at everything um but yeah the only other thing i usually do is i change the size to make it quite small just because yeah i don't think it needs to be as much and then i take down the drops a little bit so it just looks like a nice calming rain that's kind of clearing you know so that's what i do uh, you can copy the settings here. It's a bit messed up because I played with a few, but that's kind of what I do. Very basic effect. You probably could have just found it yourself, um, but I decided I'd kind of bring your attention to the effect and also the settings I use typically when I do it. Um, so usually when I first used it, or sorry, when I first used this effect, um, this is what I did with it. So you can see on screen that kind of out the window, you create that mood. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed. The video i hope it's helpful um this is something that i really like using and it adds a lot of depth to your motion graphics instead of just having a window and instead of going crazy and adding like a whole garden outside the window you can just add rain and it adds just a whole lot more detail um and interest so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video um and i'll see you next week Don't you like my chain, my young Gucci mind and I'm popping off the chain.